guys. Okay, I need to fix my arm because I can't stretch it out. So let me do that really fast. I have my bag of stuff for sewing my point shoes I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I got this brookie here that I made earlier, but thanks to my dad for helping me save them because we were having trouble making them. <laughs> then on um, the monitor, I have um, Hunter Hunter. Y'all should know I love it. Actually, let's look at here. Okay, so, whoa, okay, I can't focus, but there's a Hunter Hunter thing, there's a Luca Hunter Hunter, um, we literally have Bisky gone in Kiliwa, we have Hunter Hunter manga, Hunter Hunter calendar, I don't know if y'all can see, that's a Hunter Hunter calendar, <laughs> there's like a little itty bitty Hunter Hunter keychain right there, then my wheelchair bag, hello, can we like camera focus, I have that, and then you can't see, but there's like a little Kiliwa keychain right there, and then if we zoom in, I have a Hunter Hunter hat, and then on my purse, you can't sell, tell, but like on the other side of it, I have a little Kiliwa keychain. Then I have two t-shirts of Hunter Hunter and two sweatshirts. So maybe you can tell my favorite anime. <laughs> oh, I also have the classic poster right there, love. Anyways, we gotta, we gotta have a moment to appreciate Hunter Hunter. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm re-watching Hunter Hunter. Oh my gosh, y'all. Do a Hunter Hunter count for me because I I feel it coming from my lips way more than it should be. But I'm rewatching it. This is actually the first time, surprisingly, I'm rewatching it. Though, well, okay, I did start rewatching it like pretty much right away, like a week later, but it just was a little too soon, a few episodes in. So this is my first real time like rewatching it, and I'm watching that. I'm rewatching it without subs. Um, as immersion practice and Japanese listening practice, which is perfect to do while I'm sewing my point too, since I'll be like multitasking, I'll be focusing a lot on like looking down, so I wouldn't have time to read subs. this shoe wait not finish the shoe finish darning one shoe i'm gonna try to darn the other one before i leave i'm gonna go out with my dad for a little bit <laughs> about to leave i need to do my hair in the car hey guys so it's 5 50 right now and i just got home like a couple minutes ago and now i'm back on my lap desk and i'm about to finish sewing up the point shoes i need to do it like asap because every single muscle in my body is affected and my fingers i don't know how much longer they have so i want to make sure to finish sewing these up for tomorrow i have like so much reading i'm behind on i'm really trying to drill back in my reading habit because um over christmas break i started a reading habit and then i've just gotten uh, so many flare-ups and so many just back steps and stuff in 2023 and it's been it's been a rocky start but you know it doesn't matter like how hard the trials are like i know this outlook probably seems so confusing to so many people but like truthfully every year gets better and better it doesn't matter how hard it is hardness and trials and difficulties don't do anything about joy and blessedness 
like I am so blessed because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus and because of that I have so much joy and so nothing can take away that joy so to the world my years are just getting harder and harder 2022 definitely one of the hardest years of my life and 2023 has not failed to try to compete with that the hardness and trials just don't touch my blessedness and joy so yeah i'm just like mm. i just came back from starbucks with my dad talking about the lord and so now it just makes me extra joyful because talking about the lord always makes me so joyful <laughs> i love how like i was talking about like my reading goals and everything and my reading habits and that turned into talking about the lord <laughs> it does go hand in hand because i really want to build this habit up of reading for the lord it will glorify the time he's given me for him like so much more but i want to build it up because even if there is like a time where like i'm in and out of the hospital or if i'm bed bound and like i'm really really sick or something like and there is a few days or a couple weeks or whatever it is that i can't read because of my health like that the habit doesn't go away right because so far i haven't been able to build that habit because it's like it's just been a crazy 2023. i'm gonna tire out my hand by holding my camera and i need to sew point shoes so i'm gonna do that meanwhile my <laughs> the freeze frame is so good right now yeah yeah we're just gonna yeah Hey guys, so it's 6.50 and I finished one shoe, <laughs> so yay! Now I just have to do this one. At least I need to be watching Hunter Hunter while I do it. Hey guys, so it is 7.30 and I finally finished showing my point shoes. Sewing point shoes takes so long, it takes forever with my fingers and like they started giving out so it was really difficult but i'm so glad i got it done um because now i thought it was a spider for a second so now they're done now i'm gonna be done sewing point shoes for a while my dad brought me food a while ago but i didn't want to eat it while like sewing point shoes so i'm gonna eat it now well first i'm going to clean up everything and i'll watch another episode while i clean up everything because it's gonna take a while to clean up and stuff it doesn't look like it but everything just takes me longer to do. Then I'll come back and eat my slice of pizza. I love Hunter Hunter. I'm gonna clean up and get ready for bed, do take off my jewelry, do my braids. So Lord willing, hopefully I'll be ready to read by like 8.20. I look scary. Okay, so I am all ready for bed now and I'm gonna read. <laughs> So 